Hello and welcome. Today we are going to deal with agriculture part 2. Now in the previous part we dealt with types of farming, grain crops, non-grain crops etc. If you missed it, no problem, there it is and also in the description box below. In part 2, let's learn something different. So before we get into this class, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon so you get all my future classes. Let's get into this class. Let's talk about non-food crops. Here we have rubber, silk, cotton and jute. Let's look at the different conditions these crops require for its good growth. Rubber requires high moisture, about 200 centimeters plus rainfall, 25 degrees plus temperature, and is usually grown in Kerala and Tamil Nadu. We get silk from silkworms. Now the rearing of silkworms is called as sericulture. Moving on to cotton. Cotton requires light rainfall, heavy sunlight, high temperature and usually grown in abundance in Maharashtra and Gujarat. Next we have jute. Jute is also called as golden fiber. Now it's known for its high strength. Now jute is used to make ropes, mats, etc. and is grown in West Bengal and Bihar. Moving on to national economy. Let's look at the steps taken by the government to provide facilities to farmers. We have Kisan credit card, Personal Accident Insurance Scheme, Minimum Support Price, and Indian Council for Agricultural Research. These are the reforms by the government to encourage and support agriculture. There are other steps taken to improve agriculture. Agricultural universities are set up, meteorological departments and horticulture centers are also established. And finally, let's look at food security. The National Food Security System has what is called as PDS, that's Public Distribution System. Now, you may be commonly knowing it as ration shops. That is exactly what they are. Ration shops, what do they do? They supply grocery items at subsidized rates. And second part, is buffer stock. So what is buffer stock? Food that is kept as reserve nationally to safeguard against unforeseen shortages and emergency situations. An entire public distribution system is looked after by FCI that is Food Corporation of India. With so much of variety, no doubt India is called as an agricultural country. So that's it for today. See you next time. Take care. Thank you very much.